What's up guys, if you like these daily watch list videos, make sure you hit those like and subscribe buttons. With all that being said, here's my watch list for September 28th. Okay, so the first one I'm putting on my list today is ITUS. This one has been just moving on a big tear this last week or so. Uh, you can see it reached a high yesterday in after hours of $5.49, and it had a few decent pushes today. You can see towards the end of the day, it had a nice push up here from about $4.45 all the way to $5.13. So another big tear there and a big one here as well. And so if this one can continue pushing up, breaking over that $4.50 area, I like it for a long play, and for that reason, I'm going to be watching it at the open tomorrow. Okay, so another one I'm watching is AVGR. This one had a huge gap up from last night and this morning. It reached a high in pre-market this morning at 67 cents. When it opened up, it washed out and gave a lot of it back, but it rebounded relatively well, and it's sitting just under that half dollar at 47 cents right now. And so if this one can break over that resistance it had previously at the half dollar area, use it as support and continue pushing up. I like it for a long play, and for that reason, I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow at the open. Okay, so the next one on my list is SYRS, and I made a decent amount of money on this one today. It had a pretty big drop this morning at around uh, 8.45 or 9 o'clock, and it rebounded fairly well midday at about 10.45, pushing all the way up from $11.25 to that $13.50 area. It still has a lot of room if you look at this chart. There's no resistance anywhere around here all the way up until about $14.30. And so if this one can continue pushing up, filling some more of that gap, I really like it for a long play and for that reason I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow at the open. Okay, so another one I'm watching is BLPH. This one didn't have a ton of volume today, but it made a pretty big push going up from about $1.08 all the way to its high of today at $1.31 in after hours. It doesn't have a ton of volume, so it's not moving that much in after hours so far. But if this one can pick up the volume tomorrow in pre-market and continue to push up, possibly starting to test that half dollar range at $1.50, I like it for a long play. Like I said, I really want to see it move a little bit more in pre-market tomorrow morning, but for all those reasons I stated before, I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow at the open. Okay, and so the last one on my watch list is AEMD. This one washed out a little bit today, reaching a low of $1.11, but so far in after hours, it has rebounded fairly well. It's currently sitting at $1.40, and so if this one can push back up, breaking that 50 cent range and continue pushing up, I like it for a long play, and for that reason, I'm going to be watching this one tomorrow. With all that being said, that's the end of my watch list for tomorrow, September 28th. Make sure you come check out our free day trading chat room, guys. we got a ton of people there every morning talking watch list, trade ideas, and stuff like that, so come check it out. Also, be sure to like and subscribe if you really want to do your most to help support this channel it really does a lot to help support our content guys so be sure to do that if you have time and good luck in the markets tomorrow thanks for watching guys